Home Remedies for Boils Boil is a localized collection of pus surrounded by inflamed tissue in the skin. It starts off as reddened tender area and over a period of time, the area around it becomes firm and hard. The center of the boil full of pus is soft and is filled with infection-fighting white blood cells, bacteria and proteins that eradicate the infection. Finally the pus forms a head, which can be surgically opened or drained out through the surface of the skin. One cannot pinpoint the reason for the occurrence of boils. They can be caused by ingrown hair, any splinter or foreign object lodged in the skin or clogged sweat glands that become infected to name a few. Boils can happen to young and old alike. It is one of the common skin infections ranging from the severity of a pimple to an abscess. Boils can be treated either with home remedies or medications. Any painful boil that is not rapidly improving should be seen by the healthcare practitioner. The primary treatment for boils is heat application in form of hot soaks or hot packs. Application of hot compress increases the circulation to the area, allowing the body to fight off the infection. 10 to 15 minutes of hot compress 4 to 5 times a day will help to bring the boil to a head and encourage easy drainage. If you skin often breaks into boils, start cleaning your skin with an antiseptic soap. This could lessen frequent appearance of boils. Regular use of antibacterial soaps helps prevent bacteria from building up on the skin. This can reduce the chance for the hair follicles to become infected and prevent the formation of boils. If hair follicles on the back of arms or in and around the thighs continue to be inflamed, regular use of a loofah can break up oil plugs and build up around the follicles. Cysts often turn into boils. Cysts can be prevented by avoiding direct pressure or irritation on the buttock area when the hair follicle becomes inflamed. Regular soap and hot water cleaning and drying is helpful. Some of the home remedies for boils. Juice of garlic or onion applied externally on boils helps to ripen them, break them and drain out the pus. A cupful of fresh bitter gourd juice mixed with a TSP of lime juice taken on an empty stomach daily treats this condition. Mix 1 teaspoon of milk cream mixed with half a teaspoon of vinegar and a pinch of turmeric powder to form a paste. When applied, it helps ripening the blood boils and heals them without becoming septic. Gently warm a bit tall leaf till it becomes soft. Coat it with a layer of castor oil and put it over the inflamed part. Replace the leaf every few hours. Few applications of the castor oil coated bit tall leaf will rupture and drain out the boil. Ground cumin seeds in water forming a paste. Apply the paste to the boils with beneficial results. Steep parsley in boiled water till it is soft and juicy. When hot, wrap it clean muslin or linen cloth and apply it on the boils. Tea tree oil and treatment of boils A boil is an inflamed area, usually based in a hair follicle, and can be caused by a physical condition such as diabetes, acne, or severe dermatitis and can also result from low immunity, irritations, an illness, stress, food allergy, poor diet, shaving, plucking hairs or poor hygiene. A boil usually starts as a tender area, becoming hard and swelling, and eventually softening and forming a head. The head is filled with bacteria and the white blood cells fighting the infection pus. Staphylococcus is the bacteria that is usually found in the pus of a boil. The bacteria involved are those usually present on healthy skin, so the boil is an indication of low resistance to infection. 
It is advised not to lance the boil, because bacteria can spread to nearby skin and create new boils. Apply hot packs for up to 20 minutes at a time, throughout the day, as the heat draws more white blood cells, thereby helping to fight the infection. Do not cover with a band-aid. Wash with tea tree oil soap and apply antiseptic cream containing tea tree oil. A drop or two of tea tree oil may also be applied directly to the boil. Dab it on with a piece of clean cotton, do not rub or otherwise irritate the boil. Procedure to be followed periodically throughout the day, dab some tea tree oil onto the boil with a piece of cotton to help bring it to a head, then cover with a piece of gauze. Cover the gauze with a damp washcloth, followed by a dry towel and then apply a heating pad. Leave on a low temperature for about 15 minutes. Change your dressing and reapply the tea tree oil. The oil helps bring the boil to a head while the warm compress helps pull the infection out of the skin. The tea tree oil then acts as an antiseptic and antibiotic on the bacteria in the pus. Be sure to throw away the gauze each time, and wash your hands with tea tree oil soap each time you handle the gauze or touch the boil. Sometimes a boil's bacteria can spread to a lymph node that is nearby. If there is a boil on the neck, check the lymph glands for swelling and tenderness. You should visit a doctor if this occurs, also if there is fever or lethargy. It's important to learn to listen to your body and recognize when tea tree oil treatment will be enough, and when you need the help of a doctor.